right? So all the XMAX owners or anyone who has the Max 6 G2 censored ESC, as you might know that if you decide to use this ESC with the stock motor on the XMAX or any sensorless motor, this particular ESC does not work well and the motor will start to cog and start up. And I've described this problem in this video over here. You can check that out. But today's video is a bit different because Hobbywing has released a new firmware for this and it's supposed to fix the problem. So that is what we will see in this video. So let's see if it does. Now, I've already installed the ESC on this truck. If you're not sure how to install this, do check this video where I've described in detail how to install the ESC and how to wire it up and how to calibrate the ESC as well. Here we will only talk about how to update the firmware and see what the difference is between the two firmware and how the problem is fixed or not. So first, I'll show you guys what the problem is. So the batteries are connected to the Max 6 G2 ESC. So here's how the motor starters or cocks with the stock firmware on the Max 6 G2. You can clearly hear the motor start ring and it keeps getting bad in between so it's not consistent but the cogging is definitely present with the stock firmware on this Max 6 G2. So let's update the firmware and see if the problem is fixed for real. So I launched the Hobbywing app. Now if I go to the settings. Here we can see in the about section, I have the latest version of the app on Android. And here we have the latest database version. Let's connect to Wi-Fi. The latest database as of today is 122. The current firmware database is the latest version. If I go back and connect the ESC, So here we can see all the settings which are currently on the ESC. Now to update the firmware, obviously we'll click on firmware update. And here we can see that the current firmware version on the ESC is B1.13 and the new available firmware is B1.14. Uh, if you want you can downgrade as well. So we'll select the new firmware which is B1.14 and click on update firmware and some safety steps. Keep the mobile device and the ESC within 1.5 meters and don't shut the app or exit when the firmware update is in process. So click on OK. So once the update is completed, uh, it should take about a minute or so to complete. The ESC will restart and if you want you can reconnect and
and make sure that the firmware has been updated and here we can see that the firmware is updated we have 1.14 on the ESC so now if I go to the parameters I've set the punch to level 9 which is the highest initial throttle force you can set this to whatever you'd like uh, usually lower is better but but if you want you can set this to high for a tad bit of more power on acceleration so click on save and disconnect and now that's here how the motor sounds and if there is any difference Definitely the problem has been fixed and the motor does not stutter or cock as it used to with the stock firmware. Now I'm glad that Hobbyman has fixed this problem and they've addressed it even though it's been a long time but I'm really happy that Hobbywing decided to fix it and they have listened to their customers. So it's a big thumbs up from my side to Hobbywing for fixing this problem. Many users had this problem where if they bought the Max 6 G2 and when they pair it up with their sensorless motor on X Max or any other model, the motor would stutter, cog, and it would have sudden braking in between. But I did contact Hobbywing when I had this problem. They said that they will come up with a new firmware and fix this, and finally they have. So this new firmware was released on 24th of December. Or 2024 which is this month so it's been about a week and so anybody watching this video planning on buying the max 6 g2 to use with the stock motor on x max or any other model i do recommend it now before i end this video let me just tune a few settings on the esc and double check how it handles so here on the initial throttle force i'll set this to 0.5 and click on save so that's disconnect That's enough. So there we have it. The stuttering or the cogging issue on the Max 6 G2 has been addressed by Hobby Wing. We can happily and safely use the Max 6 G2 on sensorless motors. That's all I have to share in this video. I'm sure you found this video informative and helpful as always. So to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks a lot for watching.